My name is John Flett. I'm a paediatrician who helps both children, families, schools with their kids that think and learn differently. A comment that I've heard from the beginning of this year, reflecting on some of the teachers that parents had with their kids last year. Because now I'm starting to review children in particular that learn and think differently with learning difficulties, ADHD. We're starting to follow them up this year. And some of the comments that the parents say, the teacher that was the best my child ever had, it redefined themselves. It redefined my child's trajectory of their schooling career. And I'd like to talk to you about the importance of communicating with a teacher and nurturing that relationship which can be fundamental in your child's development. It can make or break your child's school career. If your child has a learning challenge, if your child needs extra help, identifying problems, that teacher, a skilled, experienced, professional teacher, can change your child's life. So keep those channels open. If your teacher approaches you and has a concern, don't necessarily react. I hear sometimes some comments by parents. You know, that teacher I think has got a problem with my child. I've heard from previous kind of parents, you know, that teacher is so critical, they are so quick to tell you that there's a problem. Why don't they just do their own job? You know, we pay them. You know, that is something that I don't believe in 22 years I've ever seen a teacher who was vindictive, who really tried to have it in for your kid. They often are approaching you out of concern. It's really a lot easier for some teachers just to pass the ball on to the next year's teacher. If they've got a concern, listen, take it in, at least hear them out. You know, when I do assessments, I'm very grateful for the teachers that fill in my reports. I've got an online system where the teacher goes in and if it's a first assessment or second assessment, fills in a number of biographical questions. And I can't tell you how important those questions are. It's like doing expensive blood tests or doing like a brain scan. It helps us so much because a school report can only take you so far. That information that's shared by that teacher gives an amazing synthesis and insight into your child and helps us make the right decisions. When I'm treating children for ADHD, picking up anxiety difficulties, learning difficulties, trying to adjust medication, titrating the medication, making sure that we're giving the right amount, not over-treating, under-treating. I couldn't do that job without that teacher's input. So, you know, I think I'd like you to think about a teacher. They spend more time with your child than you do every day. They nurture that relationship, specifically the foundation phase teachers. That grade R, uh, grade one, two, and three, those four years are critical because that is when children are kind of presenting with problems. If those problems are identified early, it is a game changer. You can intervene early, you can get the right help for your child. And if you think, if you kind of are identifying a problem early, the trajectory, the change that you can make in your child's life early. Even today, I was talking to some of the parents who, you know, were talking about last year's teacher, the way they were able to kind of just get the sense of my child, you know, making sure that they were seated properly in the class, preferential seating, not next to windows with children that are inattentive, looking out, distracted. They were able to kind of, you know, bring the class together, making sure that there were kids that weren't, there were potential bullies, 
dealing with it, nipping it in the bud, being able to really identify those so early. And you know, when your child has a problem, who are they going to go to first? They're going to tell the teacher. So I'd like you to look at teachers as being an enormous resource, both for the doctor and for you. So over the next uh, three terms, build a relationship with that teacher, making sure that the channels of communication are open. Listen to the teacher's kind of comments, concerns, because it will make such a big difference with early intervention. So, you know, when you're next having an assessment, please get your teacher to fill in that form for me. It is vital. Talk to you soon.